Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updates video and in this video we'll be talking about these two disturbances and the possibility for them to develop. So one of them is a newly highlighted area this morning so we'll be talking about uh, what is expected for these systems, if anywhere could be affected and uh, the overall environment out there. And so before I go into details... Okay, so let us go ahead and start off with this disturbance. And so as of right now, it is given a 10% chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone. And so the chance was higher and yesterday it was briefly at 30% uh, in the evening. However, due to the reduction in all the shower activity associated with it, we had the chance decrease in and now it is at 10%. And so we see that imminent development is not expected. It is when it moves uh, more to the northwest conditions could become a little bit more supportive of it developing but let's see what's going to be happening but all of that dry air out there is definitely uh making it have a hard time out there but this disturbance is designated as an invest invest 90l so let's wait and see what's going to be happening once it moves across the main development region headed closer to the caribbean and so taking a look at satellite for uh invest 90l here here we see it and it's actually looking a little bit better than than it did earlier this morning so uh, it is definitely struggling out there with all of the dry air that is surrounding it and so uh, moving on to this new disturbance we're seeing that there is a 20 percent chance that we could have development but we're not seeing an x which means the system has not yet emerged off africa so a tropical wave is expected to emerge within the next couple of days and then we could see some development of it as it accelerates towards the west and if we're going to be seeing development if there's the likelihood then this chance is going to gradually increase as time goes by and models have been showing these systems developing so uh we're going to take a look at the latest model runs but first we're going to be looking at conditions out there uh really these saharan dust and so let's go ahead and take a look at that map right now and here we have it so again these yellows oranges reds all indicate that dry air out there and 90l is located just within that region so we see that quite a bit of dry air is ahead for it but looking south of all this dry air we see some shower and thunderstorm activity because not a lot uh, is in that region so there isn't much dry air concentration there and that is why uh, there is so much activity and if it was a case where 90L was a little bit more south and was expected to move on a more westward track I think that we could definitely be seeing development but it is in all of this dry air right now and so that is going to be a problem for it uh, during the next couple of days and so if we have that new disturbance being located a little bit more south of 90L when it emerges off Africa and continues on a westward track, then I think that development would certainly be possible once we don't have a whole lot of dry air within the area. But I mean, we're approaching that time of year now when we should be looking out for these uh, types of systems, these Cabo Verde type storms and hurricanes. But what are our models expecting? Let's go ahead and talk about that. So here we're starting off with Euro. And this is is by Satch Day of this week on the 27th and Euro is showing that by that time uh, that new wave that is currently marked for potential development that air highlighted for it uh, would emerge off Africa and so going to Tuesday on the 30th of August next Tuesday here we are seeing that we would have this wave not really developing into anything uh, but take a look behind it there we have something else about to emerge off the coast of Africa and so as we head to Thursday the 1st of September Euro is showing that that second wave wouldn't really become anything but take a look at this we have this system with a pressure of 989 millibars just to the west of the Cabo Verde Islands and so Euro is expecting that this one would rapidly develop as it makes its way off Africa so it would, so it would be accelerating right into a very favorable environment that would be allowing for this much intensification to be taking place quickly and so uh, headed into the second of September uh, next Friday we're seeing that the pressure has decreased a little bit more to 986 millibars and so the lower the pressure the stronger the system is and this is the intensity of a hurricane and so this is very interesting here what Euro is expecting for this system and I'm thinking that we could see somewhat of a west to west northwestward motion after a time you might be wondering what is the chance that this affects somewhere like the Caribbean
Caribbean? Well, it will be dependent on that high pressure system. And so a stronger high pressure system out there uh, would allow it to move on a more westward like track and it might be a threat to the Caribbean in that case. However, if we have a weaker high, then we could definitely expect a northwestward motion with this and that typically results in storms that might go up to the east coast or they might just be fish storms which mean they just emerge out into the open Atlantic waters not doing uh, anything to anywhere really. And let us go ahead and take a look at the humidity map for the system. So the teals indicate moisture which is where tropical cyclones would be located. Meanwhile the browns indicate dry air. And so the time when Euro is showing that the system is going to be out there, Friday the 2nd of September, we see that we have this little pocket of dry air ahead of it. And so this could uh, maybe result in weakening of the system. If it's going to be encountering all this dry air, it is going to be infiltrating the system and resulting in some weakening of it. But we're still pretty far out from this time and we can see a lot of changes uh, between now and then. So we definitely have to wait and see what the eventual outcome will be. And so uh, let's move on and see what GFS is expecting. So going to Monday of next week on the 29th of August, uh, GFS is showing that we won't really have development of Invest 90L out there. However, uh, that second tropical wave would be developing into something and something else interesting. Take a look in the Caribbean where we have all that moisture. That is associated with what is currently a tropical wave that is uh, making its way westward. And so going to Saturday the 3rd, of September here, we're seeing that GFS is forecasting that we will be having maybe three simultaneously active systems out there at this time. So that system that was in the Caribbean has been lifted up to the north and we see 1004 millibar low pressure area right there. We see what seems to be a hurricane out there north of the Lesser Antilles with a pressure of 962 millibars. And then to the southeast of it, there we have another system with a pressure of 1005 millibars. And so going to Monday the 5th of September, interestingly, GFS is expecting that we're going to be seeing uh, that third system making its way towards sections of the Leeward Islands in the Caribbean. So this is very interesting here. GFS showing a very active end to August and early September. So we'll definitely have to wait and see. But there have been a lot of changes with this model here. And more changes are definitely inevitable. And so guys, the development of these systems is all going to be dependent on the favorability of the environment ahead of them. And we're reaching that time of year where we should be watching the tropics. So uh, during the month of September, we can definitely expect more systems, more waves emerging off Africa and uh, uh, headed towards the Caribbean or to the US. That is definitely on the horizon as we're going to be heading into the next couple of weeks and so that is really it for this update video and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weatherwise